Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on the channel and as you can see we are back doing another tearing video because you guys seem to enjoy these the previous two I have done which I've done on the Pixar films and types of chocolate and today we are back with a Pokemon style one today and today we're going to rank all of the fossil Pokemon that are in the game because I tried to get this uploaded before Sun and Moon Sun and Moon what well, obviously going to be uploaded after Sun and Moon came out, uh, after Sword and Shield, before Sword and Shield came out. But unfortunately, I've been a bit busy, so it's, it's hopefully going to be up like a few days after it. So, should be okay. I don't think there's any fossils added in Sword and Shield, from my knowledge. But if there is, let me know in the comments down below. But today we're going to rank all of the uh, fossil Pokemon that has come in the Pokemon games, I think that if that's correct, there's 11 type different variants of the, of the, uh, I'm only doing the, the full evolutions because pretty much most of them will be in the same tier anyway, like the whole stage will be in the same tier anyway, so that is what we're going to be ranking today, and first up, let's just get on with it, shall we, first up we've got a boy, Cradilly. now, Cradilly has a place in my, in my life, because, uh, uh, Ben, all's around Ben. Um, he's a big fan of Cradilly. So is other Ben. Checkmate Ben. Um, I haven't really used it that often, but because it's like such a, it's such a staple point of my college days, way back in the day when I was a young whippersnapper, about 16, 17, you know, it was, it's been a big part of my life. So I'm going to put him in, ooh. I'm, I, if I could, I'd put him right here, like in between. But I'm going to put him in A tier, just for Ben. Just for Ben. If you're watching this, Ben, I'm putting in A tier for you. I'm sorry. I'm going to put in A tier. Because I honestly don't know what I'm going to actually put in S tier. Next up, we've got a boy. A boy, Caracosta. Now, all I've got is like, um, draft league, like, brain on at the moment. Of like, if they're good in draft league or whatnot and all that kind of stuff. Because... I don't think I've ever rarely used a fossil in a Let's Play or a playthrough of any Pokemon game. So that's what I'm basically going off right now. And Caracosta, I think I've used it before once or twice in League and it was okay. But also it's like Water Rock type because we've got enough goddamn... Most of the fossils, I can say, most of the fossils I've got what, one, two, three. Yeah, there's only three Water Rock types. So, and Caracosta... I mean, out of the two in Gen 5, it's probably my favourite. But I'm going to put him in B tier. Because he's not as good as Cradilly. But he's still got... He's, he's okay. He's okay. He's not going to lie. Now, next up, we've got Tyrantium. Now, Tyrantium is like one of the newest fossils. Because, obviously, there wasn't any in Gen 7. I don't think there's any in Gen 8. So, Gen 6 was the last one which did have fossils in it. And Tyrantium, um, in LTC at least, is an absolute monster. Because... It's one of the few dragons which are allowed in LTC, and dragons are like, whoop, OP. So, it's the first actually rock dragon type. It's a, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex that automatically puts up really high for me, because T-Rexes are like, like, when you think of dinosaur, you think of a T-Rex. And when you think of fossils, you think of a T-Rex. So, I'm tempted to put Tyrantrum in S tier, because I love its design. It's good in, in battle. Um... Obviously, it's a, it's a staple point of a fossil Pokemon because when you think of when you think of fossils, you think of Diplodocus, which is the next one, obviously. Which we can move on straight away, shall we? We want to Aurorus. Now, Aurorus is um, ice ice uh, rock, not the best typing in the world because ice is kind of a really bad typing. But it's a Diplodocus again. It's one of the actual like staple points of when I think of fossils, I think of Diplodocus, T Rex, and Pterodactyls. That is what I think of in my brain. So. Again, um, I've used it before in like, not in let. Did I use it? I think I'm, I, I think I did in my first Gen Six playthrough. I think I used Aurorus, or did I use to pick Tarantrum? Because you get the fossil after you just before you go to the second gym, don't you? Yeah, you get to pick one of the fossils and you get to use it on your team. Now I can't remember. I think I picked up Tarantrum in that let's in that playthrough. But I have used Aurorus before, and I'm going to put him Aurorus in A tier because, again, Aurorus is substandard A tier. Now, next up, we've got Lord Helix himself, the Omastar. Now, Omastar is only like, like reference like that because of the the uh, the Twitch Let's Play of 
Twitch Plays Pokemon series, which was on God knows how long ago that was, when Twitch played Pokemon Red, was it Pokemon Blue? I think it was Pokemon, was it Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue? I played one of the first Gen 1 games, and Lord Helix was the Obastar, which has stayed in the box, like, forever. That's the only reason it's, like, really hype, because over, I don't, Obastar is, like, the least, my least favourite one out of the Gen 1 star, Gen 1 fossils. It's not, it design isn't the best. It's, I mean, it has put, I've, I've seen people putting work with it in League, though, with, like, Shell Smash set, it gets the Stealth Rock set, and all that lot. But for me, I think Caracossa does the Shell Smash stuff much better than Armistar. I really do. So I'm going to put Armistar in C tier. I know I've de debunked a, a god there, but I've got to put some at the bottom. I can't just put them all at the top, otherwise it'd be a boring tier list, wouldn't it? Next up, we've got Kabu Tops. We've got Kabu Tops. Now, again, Gen 1 Fossil Pokemon. Um, its design isn't, eh, it's, it's like, it's like a dead, it's like an ancient cipher, isn't it? That's what, because it's because of the, uh, cipher it's got, it looks just like cipher. So, if it was that, it's kind of a lazy design, because cipher and Kabutops were in the same gen, and it's like, ugh, we, we get it, get over it. Obviously, it gets, it's got Swift Swim, I've used it before in League, it's not that amazing when I used it anyway, so... I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him with his Gen One buddy down there in C tier because, well, for me it's not that great. Next up we've got our boy Aerodact, which I'm gonna immediately put in S tier because Aerodact was probably one of it's probably my favourite of the fossil Pokemon because of its Mega is absolutely amazing. Um, if it got the likes of Brave Bird, it would be woo. I, I would I'll, if it got like a better flying type stab move that wasn't Wing Attack, I would put it in like. I would probably draft it more often, but it's just because it's only really got rock stab to, to get a benefit of its tough claws. Um, normal Aerodactyl I've used before, and it's like put in amazing work before. Um, I think if I, if I could, if Aerodactyl was like more common in like playthroughs, because it's really a rare Pokemon. Obviously, you you, you can get it early on in Gen Six as well. Uh, I don't know about like Gen One; you can't find it post game. And then all the other fossils, you can't really get to like late in the game. So it's really hard to use an Aerodactyl in a normal playthrough. In a randomizer, that's different because you can find one in the wild. But again, fossils are really hard to capture. So fossils are like a rare, like obviously they're rare because they're fossils. But I'm just going on a really long tangent here. But Aerodactyl for me is my favorite, if it's favorite fossil Pokemon. So it's going in that S tier slot. Next up, we've got Armaldo. Now... Armado is probably one of the ones I remember the least out of all the fossils. Because Armado was Gen 3? Yeah, it was Gen 3. It was with Cordilli. And I honestly c c just forget that it's an actually Pokemon. I literally always forget Armado is a thing. Or even if it is a fossil. I know it's a thing. I just forget it's a fossil Pokemon. I, can't, I don't even remember what gen it's in most of the time. Because all you think of a Gen 3 is Cradilly. So Armada's going D tier. It's a bug rock type. It's not that great of a mon. It's just... For me, it's just there. So it's got to be D tier. But it's better than Kabutop. It's worse than Kabutops and uh, Omastar. So it has to go in the D tier slot. Now, next up is my boy Rampardos. Rampardos has to go in S tier as well. Because... Oh my god. The Gen 4 free for all. That's the only thing that goes to mind. I brought the pre-evolution of... Rampardos and Choice Scarf putting the absolute finest of work. Again, if I brought this to a free form, slapped a Choice Scarf on it, things are dying because that attack stat is like whoop so high. Um, I don't, I, I, I really want to use it one day in like competitive wise because I've only used it in like free falls and whatnot. Um, but yeah, Rampardos is my boy and is here and he's going to come in, come in clutch. And he's one of, he's probably this one like Gen 4 so much. I've got a Gen 4 bias because. Rampardos is up that high. And I'm going to put Bashudon in A tier as well. Because Bashudon is an absolute monster. Because It may be rock steel and weak to everything on the planet. But its defense stat is like super duper high. It really is. And I've used it in, in LTC before. And it's put in the work of being like the defensive shield of the team. Because obviously it's what it's supposed to be. The shield. And it's got good stealth rocker. It gets like... It could eat up most physical hits for days, as long as it's not 
I mean, it's typing isn't that, is what well, rock steel, same as Agron. It's quad weak to what ground and fighting, I do believe. But besides, if it's not one of those moves and it's a physical hit, it should eat up for days. So, what more could you ask for? And I've used it in free throws in, in university as well, and it's just it just sat there and gone. Uh, and it, it also, I've, there's loads of free throws I've used it for. It's just a great mod. And what 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 it was. I can't even remember now because it was so. Was it the Gen Seven free for alls they added? Battle Royales. That was it. I've I've used it in Battle Royales before, and it's putting the actual work in there because it just sit there, won't die. It pick up like a kill. No, the the, the plan is Battle Royale is you you send something out which is frail, you go in, you kill something, and then that'll die, and then you just sit with Bashidon for the rest of the game and just sit there and sit there and sit there, and you'll win plus one. So, back. Bashadon has to be up there for me because it's 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 also one of my boys. Now next up is Archeops. Now I'm gonna put Archeops down here in C tier because no actually I'm gonna put it in, in I like its design, Cocoa Puffs. It, it, it's like one of those really old like birds or what I can't remember what the birds are actually fossil based on is actually called. It's an archon, is it? No, that's it's that's that's what it's pre evolution, but isn't that like what it really is? It's an art Archon or something, I can't remember what it's actually what bird it's actually based off of, but it's like the most colorful. <laughs> it's got pretty colors in it, uh, yeah, it's got pretty colors in it. Um, its ability isn't great, um, but if it didn't have its ability, it would be like a god tier mon because it's got really high speed, really high attack. But if it drops to like is it below 50%, it becomes terrible. It's like a reverse Regigigas, it really is because Regigigas is half the is half for five turns and it gets busted. This, you, cause you send it in and if it's, if it's above 50% it will kill something. But it's best move to hit things is with Brave Bird or Stone Edge. So if you Brave Bird something, you'll go below 50%. You go, oh, I'm trash again. And it's also weak to Stealth Rocks. So if you send it in against rocks, it'll, it'll become not as good. So it's kind of there. Um, but it's like, it's, it's I remember it more than Armado, if you get what I mean. So yeah, that is my tier list for the Pokemon fossils in all the fossil Pokemon, really. So, as always, if you guys don't agree with me, because every time I do one of these, most of you do disagree with me, because everything I say is apparently not on point, and you're going to shout at me. So, just let me down in the comments, actually, and we'll get a discussion going and whatnot. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button, be subscribed if you're new around here, and do enjoy the content, because we are... Trying to climb to 150 by Christmas. I don't think that will happen. But I'm hoping it will do because the aim the aim to start you was 250. This this is this is where the channel's gone. It's going. It's, I'm just doing it for fun, really, and what you guys really want to see. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.